Positions! We'll crash them!
come back anytime. Let me know what you need. Come back anytime. I remember Mother's stories of Kira and the Sacred Wars. I wonder if she ever came here. <gasps> How was Megaris? The wolf is dead. Excellent. The full amount is promised. You expected me to haggle? Come now, Cassandra. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? How did you know Nikolaus was my stepfather? I love theater. All of the arts, really. A great general throws his own children off a cliff on the say-so of the Oracle. It is a tragedy for the ages. You think my life is entertainment? Oh, no, my friend. It is art. I know, I know. It's a lot to take in all at once. Come. Tell me, Mistyos, did you learn anything worthwhile in your dealings with the wolf? I'm done talking! I should kill you where you stand! Temper, temper. Ah, and they said you'd be different. But blood is blood, I suppose. They? What blood? You really are more brawn than brains, aren't you? A shame. I could have used you for more of my errands. Malaka! You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue! So disappointing. Look there! Pinor snuck away like a coward. I should investigate his house. And Pinor's looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. This is a ship manifest. And Pinor's selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. A letter to Alpino. Oh, Phoebe, you led him right to me. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compare to Alpino. I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent. Oh, 
This oracle gives better news than the one in Sparta. Malaka! If it isn't the eagle bearer herself! You got big since Kefalonia! And you got old Photios the dog's bread. Last time I saw you, I think I lit your ship on fire. <laughs> my ship and my beard! These days, thankfully, I've semi-retired. Do people pay mercenaries here more than they did in Kefalonia? <laughs> of course they do! Better than Marcos, that's for sure. Everyone pays more than Marcos. You're lucky I took all his crazy contracts. <laughs> I was a false learner. He's a rotten cheat. I only accept the easy stuff now. I'm working as a watchman this very moment. A cushy job. Most days. I could use a break myself. <sighs> Some break this is. Today feels just like old times. The job got harder than anticipated. Did something happen? <sighs> a couple of priests ransacked this treasury. They took the Zaphires offered by a Thracian king. The bastards. <laughs> Your employer won't like that. No, but you like this. Make an example of the thieves. You find them and the Zephyrs, and I'll pay you much better than you're used to in Kefalonia. All right. I'll help you. But... But what? You know, my help doesn't come cheap, Photios. <laughs> you are always reliable. Deadly and Drachmi hungry, but reliable. So, I'm hunting priests. Where do I start? Mm, priests aren't used to thief business. They probably hid somewhere quiet. Check the caves west of here. I wouldn't expect priests to be jewel thieves. They didn't take the drachmi or the silver. They knew those sapphires were the most valuable things here. That's priest knowledge. Shouldn't be long before I find them.
Cassandra, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinor? We can talk later, in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the Oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well... Is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the Oracle for you. You weren't lying. It really is the Spear of Leonidas. Uh... I... may have mentioned you. Malaka! Varnavas! Use your head! Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... did... One more move and the spear will be at your throat. Tell me your name. I also mentioned you can be a little defensive. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. Hmm. That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said... Spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand a word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this! Of course he does. Delphi is nothing, like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this time, I'll be an old woman by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is she not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Endola, 
Enter into the light of Apollo. The light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal. For you have but one. Speak, truth seeker. I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Irodotos, uh, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you. She knew who I was, what I'd done. She tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. And the Pythia seemed afraid of them. The guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives, and I will get answers. Cassandra, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. 